greetings from the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Little Flower in San Antonio, Texas. We thank you for joining us for day six of our Novena of Reflections in honor of St. Joseph as we prepare to celebrate his feast day on March the 19th. We have been looking at different aspects of the fatherhood of St. Joseph as presented by Pope Francis in his apostolic letter, Patris Cordia, with the heart of a father, will be issued for the year of St. Joseph that we are observing in the church. Today we consider St. Joseph as a creatively courageous father. Uh, this is a follow-up to uh, what Pope Francis uh, spoke of uh, in our reflection yesterday, St. Joseph as an accepting father. And Pope Francis points out that uh, virtuous acceptance uh, is not, uh, does not mean just to accept the difficulties that happen and in real life in a kind of passive resignation. You know, we can look at a situation and just give up and say, well, you know, that's the way things are. You know, what, can you, what can I do about it? And this type of passive resignation you know, it can lead to a dead end, to discouragement. But rather, uh, St. Joseph looked at reality uh, of the situations in which divine providence placed him. He accepted it, but then he responded with courageous creativity. When there was no room for him and Mary uh, at the inn, that Joseph managed to secure at least a stable, and certainly he did what he could to make it as comfortable as possible for Mary and for the infant Jesus when he was born. Uh, when Joseph was warned that Jesus' life was in danger from King Herod, uh, he had to prepare uh, to flee into Egypt. And once there in Egypt, I mean, he had to be resourceful. He had to support his family. Uh, he had to, to, to provide a life for them and to continue to protect them. Uh, we don't, in, in the gospel, we don't see the angels leading Joseph and Mary and Jesus down to Egypt as God who led his people through the desert with a column of fire and a column of cloud uh, or feeding them with manna. Uh, so God seems to have left all of that up to St. Joseph. Pope Francis writes in his letter, if at times God seems not to help us, surely this does not mean that we have been abandoned but instead, we are being trusted to plan, to be creative, to find solutions ourselves. And this is how we see God treating St. Joseph and St. Joseph responding with the gifts and the grace that God had given to him and entrusted to him. And so Pope Francis goes on to write that as St. Joseph protected Jesus and Mary, uh, who were entrusted to his care and protection, now he is entrusted to protect the church. I will speak of the church as the mystical body of Christ. Uh, and so just as Joseph protected uh, the child Jesus, uh, to St. Joseph's protection he is entrusted the mystical body of Christ, of whom uh, Mary is a preeminent member. And Pope Francis writes that each of us, too, is called in some way to guard the church, the mystical body of Christ, as St. Joseph did. Uh, we are called to face whatever situations we encounter in the church, perhaps our local church, our parish, our domestic church, the family, uh, to face each situation uh, with acceptance and with courage and creativity uh, to, uh, by the help of God's grace and the natural gifts that he has entrusted to us, 
uh, to advance God's plan, uh, which is always a plan of mercy, a plan of salvation, a plan of life. Uh, God's uh, complete plan of salvation, which he worked out through Jesus, that he uh, desires to work out in each one of our lives uh, through his grace, through Jesus, but also as he did with St. Joseph, through our creative and courage, uh, courageous response to his providence and his grace and to his word. So now we conclude uh, this day with our prayer to St. Joseph from Pope Francis's letter. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Thank you, and God bless you.